Hello everyone, I hope you're having a good week. I'm going to show you the edited highlights of a chat that I had recently with the Norwegian fiddle player, singer and composer Suzanne Lundeng and her guitar player Niels Olaf Johansson. And here she chats about what it's like to tour in Norway in the present climate. I actually found a lot of what she said very uplifting and hopeful and about uh, the particular area of Norway that she comes from and how she came to play in this sort of Norwegian northern fiddle style. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, how are the gigs going? Great. Yeah, yeah. do you know, uh, we have found out something. Uh, maybe uh, this COVID-19 um, uh, has been a good uh, thing. <gasps> It was, okay. I feel that we are all relaxing more. Wow. Maybe, it is, uh, maybe it has given us um, uh, a some overskid. To, well, okay. Uh, <laughs> some extra energy. Some extra energy, maybe, yes. But and maybe you appreciate it. More, more. Yeah. We are playing, we have more overview, we are playing... Um, uh, maybe we are playing better, actually. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. And what is everything so much clearer now? <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. So, what are the audiences like? They, I think, they are so happy to just come to a concert and sit there and to be in a room with live music. Um, it's uh, such a warmness uh, from the audience and. Uh, they seem really happy about it, and um, so long distance between each other. Yeah. So uh, that, but maybe that is also good because then you don't talk with the person next to you. You're just sitting in your own uh, world and listening. Yeah, and yeah, I like it. Yeah, and I, I see what you mean about you know we've realised what how rich life is, haven't we, through this experience of not being able to do anything, so, mm. yeah. Oh, it's so good to be <laughs> on the road again. And, uh, oh. we would get, no. <laughs> I, I, did, I don't come from a, a music family, and um, actually, um, my tradition, um, it, it wasn't a known tradition, or, or it was just a few uh, old fiddle players who, who um, uh, were, were playing, and it was not, um, not many of them, and, and the rest of Norway didn't know it existed at all. So oh, really? um, yeah, I'm yeah. grown up in, um, in a city called Buda, and was lucky in the, in the 70s, it was um, um, a kind of blooming uh, uh, time for um, uh, a little folklore, and um, also uh, to start um, organizing music schools, and so I started to play the violin, okay. and also started at the same time to dance. Uh, folk dance. Oh, brilliant! And then, um, after a few years, I I um, put this together, and um, I actually met the old fiddle players, and then I um, uh, started more and more to play uh, not classical violin, but uh, oh. uh, play for dance together okay. with them. Oh. So that was the, uh, and I think. Uh, the warmness and the, and all the stories and the culture around the music was the main thing for me to 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 fall in love with the the, the whole thing. It's, it's more than music. It's a it's 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 a life. It's a, cu a culture that is um, connected to to the whole life, the, the way of living along the coast. Oh. So um, um, yeah. It's, it's like that. <laughs> yeah. 